All right, what is Hilti doing at World of Concrete? They are adding 30 tools to their Neuron system. The Neuron system is their new battery or the brains of a whole line of tools they came out with in 2022. So you've seen me use their tools on job sites. You see me use them all the time. Now you're gonna see some really cool new stuff coming like this right here. It's actually a $99 bear tool quarter inch impact. It is super compact. They've, they've really just looked at what everybody wants in an impact driver and they've made it come to life for 99 bucks. No battery, of course. We're gonna look at some really cool additions like concrete vibrators, saws, water tanks. There's actually a really cool air cleaner setup that Hilti's coming out with, bringing over from Europe. Let's go take a look at that now. All right, so dust collection is huge when you're working with concrete. When you're grinding floors, subsurfaces, adhesives off of uh, surfaces, stuff like that. So anytime you're worried about air quality, putting contaminants into the air, you're going to be using something like a dust collector attached to a tool. Hilt is really good at that, has been all the time. But check this out. This is that air cleaner I was talking about. This is actually this is a portable job site ready air cleaner that can be daisy chained together up to three units. This thing will run a thousand CFM. All right. It's got filters that are replaceable weekly right here three of them all the way around and there are hepa filters in the unit too you can actually duct this system so they're offering ducted uh, kits that'll go on inlet outlet you could create negative pressure in like a dust space okay so honestly really cool tool i don't think there's anybody else on the market that has something like this this is coming from hilti all the way over from the european market another cool thing too you got a nice handle here, but you got like a rugged. All right, I think that's pretty cool. This is gonna be coming in 2023 from Hilti. Uh, very cool. All right, Ed, tell me what this is all about. This is the exoskeleton? Yes. All right. So about a year and a half ago, we launched our Exo Overhead One. And since then, we've listened to our customers and they wanted a, an exoskeleton that was easy to wear and easy to adjust. And we did just that. So. First, you'll notice this is made out of Hilti tool plastic. Yeah. Second, we've made it push to fit as far as height adjustment. Okay. So I press a button, slide it up, slide it down to small, medium, large, whatever your size is. Lastly, adjust your waist size yeah. and you're ready to wear the exoskeleton. It's that okay. easy. Well, hold on, hold on. You said that you talked to your customers and they demanded different features to it. Did they even know they needed this? Like you guys invented this, right? We didn't invent the technology. We brought it to the construction okay. industry. Okay. Okay. All right. So how did this just kind of goes on like a backpack? just like a backpack, just like a, a hiking backpack? All right. We're gonna put it on. Let's give it a try. All right. I'm ready. All right. Go ahead and hit the waist belt. I probably gotta adjust it bigger, right? Looks pretty good, but uh, maybe uh, just to make it easier to get there and then cinch it pretty tight. That's where all the weight is going to be transferred to from your, the exit. On your waist? Onto your hips. Like that? Right, just like a, a hiking backpack. Okay, now what? Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull down on our strap. I'm going to set your arm right there. I don't know if you can get it around this 26 inch pythons. I Hulk think Hogan, we can. eat your heart out. I think we can. Uh, he's unfazed. He doesn't, he's unfazed, unfazable. Unflappable? I don't know. All right. Unphase, unflap. And then I'm just gonna tighten this. I don't want it to be too tight, but I don't want it to move. Yeah. So this is gonna aid in lifting. Oh, right, I can so, already feel it. So anything shoulder height or above. Like, right? It's, it's kind of like- If it adjusts it right, my arm won't go down. <laughs> okay, so now this one? That one, you just pull that strap. So I should be able to do this by myself, you should. right? Yeah. In theory, if I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I definitely go. don't know what I'm doing here. Just let's put it right under your elbow. Okay. Okay. And if you're flexible enough. And that'll loop around. Let's make sure we're not too tight here. Okay. Got to support the, the pythons you said. Once you, once you, yeah. Once you get this set up, you can, it's probably easier to. Pretty easy to, to go. do over and yep, over, right? Exactly. And then that I'm just going to tighten this up for you. Okay. I feel like Macho Man Randy Savage here with the things on my arm. You were in. A lot of wrestling references going on right now. Yeah, I don't know why that is. This is actually, so it's going to aid in doing overhead work. Right, so anything overhead. I wish I could convey on the camera here how much this is actually doing. This is a significant amount of, of like weight pushing up on my arm. Right. I'm not holding it down by any means, but when I go like this, it's way easier. Exactly. Wow. 
So this would be really good for electricians because most of them aren't very strong. And so like holding a tool overhead is gonna be really, it's gonna make your job a lot easier if you're a sparky. I know you struggle already, but most plumbers are gonna, really any trade is gonna benefit from this, right? Yeah, any trade where you're working overhead. Yeah, over and over. A lot of SDS drilling, anchors, fasteners, stuff like that. Really anything, I guess. Painters, tampers, painters, finishers. Yep, anybody doing finishing work. How much does something like this cost? It's gotta be like a half million bucks. Oh, come on now. I don't know. $1,300. That's it? That's it. That doesn't seem like enough. We want everybody that's in an overhead orientation to be able to have this piece of uh, technology. So as you can see, it's easy to take off. A little easier to put on there than putting it on. But. Well, it's adjusted for you now. So now all you gotta do is throw it on. This is pretty kick ass, man. I appreciate it. Check that out. That is freaking cool. It's first time I've ever had anything like so scientific on my show. Well, glad we could be a first. All right, man, thanks. Thanks very much. All right, this is what I've been looking forward to. To end this video, I want to show you one of the coolest tools they've got. This is the Hilti Neuron Breaker. Somebody behind me is probably making fun of me going on in the back of the video. I can't control, I don't care. I want you to check this out. Bluetooth control for a dust vac here. Got a dust port down there by the breaker uh, chisel. And this is battery power. Two batteries, 22 volts each. Super light, easy to maneuver, and we're gonna break some concrete. If you like this video, check me out over on Instagram, TikTok, like and subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate your time. Let's do this. Freaking amazing.